Hello Navigator, in this video I am going to show you how do I take the compass error using a simple apps and I believe this is the most easiest way and hope you will also use the same apps. Marine apps, in the marine apps, inside marine apps I have kept this uh, nautical almanac which I want to use for this compass error calculation. Here I have to update the position, present position is 24, 33, decimal 8 and longitude 066 57 decimal 1 here you can see day is automatically updated uh, hours automatically updated this UTC time I don't need to change if you adjust your uh, mobile phone time then it will come automatically but if you are not interested to adjust your time locally then you can uh, keep you can update also manually and here you have to change the uh, source reference I want to take from the Sun here you don't need to do anything this is automatic calculation okay so go to compass error now okay you can see the reference data from here 31st August 2023 this is the UTC time and late long all updated for my present position and of course always the heading will be changed for your case now my heading is 161.5 okay and for your information uh, when the inspector uh, checks they basically check whether your deviation is within the limit or not this is the deviation so how you will check that whether your deviation is within the limit or not you have to adjust the standard heading correct this is my deviation curve let's see 160 around 0 0.5 degree east okay 0 0.5 degree east or you can say 0 0.4 degree is like this so you have to adjust the deviation value according to your deviation curve and we have to adjust it so that the value comes around 0 0.34.5 okay Eight. you can see if I put 059.8 then it is coming 0 0.4 east 0 0.4 is that means my deviation will match and here you can see the gyro heading uh, gyro bearing you can change little bit if you want to show gyro error but I don't want to show gyro error that is why I don't want to change this one so standard is this one gyro is zero you can see the error value now resultant error value where you don't need to touch 0, 0.0 standard 1.7 east and your deviation is within the limit which you are mostly interested to compare as i told you this variation it will come automatically it will update automatically according to your location so that is the figure and now I would like to show you how do I record this in my compass error logbook. Today is 31st 08.23 UTC time is this one 08.57.14 ok then latitude longitude this one 24 degree 33 decimal 8 north 066 degree 57 decimal 1 east then ships gyro heading here 161.5 degree then magnetic heading 159 decimal 8 degree then steering no need to write steer for steering then bearing bearing is true bearing this one 
टू थ्री फाइव डेसिमल सिक्स डिग्री देन जैरो बियरिंग टू थ्री फाइव डेसिमल सिक्स डिग्री देन स्टैंडर्ड बियरिंग दिस इज फॉर द सन एंड कैन राइट फॉर द सन द एरोर जैरो एरोर इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो देन एरोर फॉर मैग्नेटिक वन पॉइंट सेवन डिग्री ईस्ट ओके देन वेरिएशन इज वन पॉइंट थ्री डिग्री ईस्ट देन डेविएशन इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर डिग्री ईस्ट दिस इज द ऑल रिकॉर्ड ऑल द डेटस आई नीड टू अपडेट एंड द इंस्पेक्टर विल चेक ओनली वेदर योर डेविएशन इज विद इन द लिमिट और नॉट दैट्स इट नाउ लेट मी शो यू वेदर दिस एप्स आर शोइंग द करेक्ट वेरिएशन और नॉट here is the variation cursor i can check magnetic variation you can see the variation of magnetic the value of the magnetic variation is 0.83 and it is changing to no change in magnetic variation is 2.3 east minute 2.3 minute east so it is for the 2017 and if you calculate it will be roughly same so you don't need to worry about whether your apps will pick up the correct variation or not it will no worry you can download it and use it in your android phone or ios whichever operating system you use so thank you so much for watching this video and hope to see you in next video